Okay guys, <coughs> chapter 15, Nuclear Chemistry, the next kind of problem is in exercise 15b, and it's the mass to energy calculation. Key thing to remember is that in a chemical reaction, mass is conserved, and all we do with the elements is have them get rearranged. But the same number of elements are found on each side. But in nuclear reaction, things are very different. Elements change completely and that mass is not conserved. Instead, some of that mass gets converted into energy, and that energy to mass conversion is given, and it's given as two sig figs, and it's one gram is equal to 9.0 times 10 to the 13th joules. Okay, so the key to this is, as always, adding up the reactants, subtracting the products and then using the conversion so it's mass reactants minus mass of the products equals the mass defect meaning the mass that got converted into energy okay so let's go ahead and do the problem here. You should go ahead and hit pause now so that you can be ready to do the problem when you get back. Okay? Hopefully you hit pause, you went through, did your calculation, now you're back. So what do we got here? We've got how much energy is produced by the following nuclear reactions. The atomic masses are listed for each isotope in grams per one mole. Okay, so what do we got here? We got 5.0125 grams per mole. And there's one mole of the lithium-5. One mole or 5.0125 grams. And then we've got two moles of the neutrons times 1.00866 grams per mole. Notice that the moles cancels. So that adds up to 1.00866 times 2, or... 2.01732 grams. And that adds up to 7.02982 grams total over here. So what's over here? Well, it's one mole of each, so we'll just add those up. 3.0702, 4. I'm sorry, that should be 3.0102, and 4.0026. 7.0128 grams. So this is the mass of the reactants. This is the mass of the products. We're going to subtract those two. 0 0.0128 to get Zero point zero one seven zero two. I guess we're still going to draw the line. This is the grams that have been lost. And what happened to them? They got converted into energy at 9.0 times 10 to the 13th joules per every one gram. Cancel out the grams. And you 
get 1.5318 times 10 to the 12th. How many sig figs is in my answer? This is known to two sig figs, so that's going to limit your answer. Final units are joules. 1.5 times 10 to the 12th joules. That's it. That's the energy that was produced with this particular nuclear reaction. Okay? Practice these up so that you could add it because you're going to see it both on your next exam and on your final exam. Okay.